All right, walk the stage with a statement. DIY graduation cap mortarboard ideas for graduation. Plus, fried beef loaded with your favorite Tex-Mex toppings. Are you hungry? Hangry? We're gearing you up for lunch hour with a lot of ladies food truck. And hop into Easter with the cutest Easter basket stuffers from Feliz Modern. Maybe there's a chocolate bunny in there for Dave. <laughs> Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. We're swinging into the week with spring food, wedding ideas, and more. And that was a look. that video out again. Oh, yes. Yes, look at you. The great Osterhage. And, and that was <laughs> that, called, remember, that was the mermaid, I think. You would know. I. I it was just Mike hanging from a... From a rope or whatever it's called. A silk? A silk, right? Something like that. It was, it was strong enough to hold me. And she was just worried that I was, you know, on this brick. You had great form, though. All Thank right. You. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. This is the great Mike Osterhage. And spring is pretty much uh, the kickoff to kind of, you know, wedding season and everything. And yeah. we've got some great uh, ideas this week to kind of help. Uh, you know, get you prepared for that big day. And we also have a fun wedding contest, want contest that's going to be going on. See, I'm still thinking I'm, I'm sideways there. <laughs> and we want you to enter this contest, and it has to do with wedding photos and spring photos as well. Yes. All you have to do is head on over to salive.com, click on the wedding contest banner. So you want to look for that. There it is. And submit your favorite wedding photo. Have your family and friends vote spread the word, share it out, and we'll announce the winner at the end of the week. Get this, the winner will receive a date night for two, for two, for de. two, at the de. Majestic de. Theater. Oh, oh, wow. Fancy. That's a nice, so fancy. That's a nice date. We <laughs> also want you to share your favorite wedding spring photos on our Facebook page, SA Live KSAT, and we will share some of your comments on today's show. All of those beautiful, the lovely brides, of course. Yes, and, and the grooms that are sometimes standing there going, <laughs> well, it's not a wedding without cocktails, yes, right? Yes, indeed. Tassie Grantham, <laughs> owner of Sass Tass and the Poor Horse Mobile Bar, is here with some great wedding drinks, some great spring drinks, and they just look refreshing and springy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I uh, decided I was going to start out with a little peachy keen with you guys today. Okay. And that is with some Ben Milam uh, whiskey, but you can use any bourbon that you want. I know a lot of people ask me all the time, they're like, is scotch bourbon? No, it's not. No. That is a whiskey, but it's not a bourbon. You want to look for specifically bourbon on the bottle. Okay. Uh, you'll put a little splash of some peat. I've already gone and smashed all the berries for you, make it a little easier. Just mush them all up Just there. Just mush them all up in there, and I'm using our nine ounce clear cups. Why And why are you using the plastic mm -hmm. cups? Um, so like that this? we can stretch people's liquor a little bit longer. So with a 12 ounce cup, they're going to go through a lot more mixers. They're going to have to go through a right. lot more alcohol. With the smaller cups, they can stretch it a little bit longer. And well, and plus it kind of, you know, it helps keep people in yes. check. A yeah, little you bit, don't you know. want them. Because everyone's can come got back. those family members right. who will just keep going. They do. They do. We can spot them a mile away, though. <laughs> and cleanup's easy. It's yes. in the trash. Yeah, oh, a lot of venues don't yeah. like glass. Good idea. Good so point. go ahead okay. and put a little so bit of peach a, nectar in there. There you go. Splash About that. An ounce. And then you put two some. of the bitters. And what exactly are bitters? People are like, what are bitters so, besides being bitter? <laughs> well, there's there's a ton of different types of bitters, and that one in particular would be a bunch of different spices. And actually, it's bark that they use to help Smell ail that. people Smell back that. in the day. Really? Yes. I'm awake. Okay. I'm awake. They're all different kinds for all different things. And then now, you're going to put a six count of whiskey in there. Do this first. And then I'm trusting count. you six count, Mike. Six. <laughs> she was scolding me even before the show because of the last <laughs> episode. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. There. I, I listened for once. You got so. an ounce and a half there. The lice. And then we're just going to put a little bit of, you can go ahead and stir that up while I get you a nice little garnish here. And we like to smack the mint to release those oils. Oh, so you just so you clap smell it. it. There right. you go. That's mm -hmm. good. And there you are. We got a little Ooh. peachy keen whiskey. Oops. Okay. All right. Now we've got. We got how is that? How is it? Ooh, it's a. It's, it's a, potent. The, the, the bourbon. <laughs> yeah, the bourbon flavor, but that little bit of hint of the the juices in there just keeps it light. Yeah. Yeah. 
It, it's it, definitely it, a his drink, I'd say, unless there, I mean, there's a lot of girl bourbon drinkers out there, too. <laughs> but it's just something, you know, you can... Uh, Sip uh, on. An outdoor. Uh, oh, it's, enjoy. It's almost like a mint julep. You know, <laughs> yeah, you there like you go. Yes. Now we've got our sangria here, which you're going to uh, put a little so this bit. this is what we're going to be making next? Yes, oh, and sangria gosh. can okay. be made a thousand different ways. Right. It's up to what you want to do. Okay. I like to put a little bit of simple syrup in there. Okay, so we've got everything in here. We've got yes, apples, got we've got... So berries. Berries. Okay, yep, go ahead. Oh, but you can put okay. peaches, you can put whatever things you Tell like when. inside yours. There you go. That's when. Oh, okay. I like to use per, uh, cherry pomegranate juice just to sweeten and tarten it up a little bit. That good? Okay, that's perfect. Okay. And, and then we're going to put in a dry Merlot. A dry Merlot, okay. And all because the Because we're already sweetening it, so you don't really want to use a sweet wine. Take it to the, the top. top there, oh, there. Okay. You just answered my question. Okay. And then we're going to put some ice on in there. And I'm using Sonic Ice today, in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> my absolute people, favorite. They, yeah, they swear there's nothing like Sonic Ice. It, the, there really isn't. Yeah. And then we'll just put a little cinnamon stick in there. Oh, cinnamon. There you go. That's sweet. There we go. And I'm going to oh, make one last like, oh, cocktail for y'all <laughs> oh, like with St. Germain, since we all like to toast at now, our wedding. you said that St. Germain is like the ketchup of Al. Of yeah, that drinks, is a bartender's right? ketchup. Really? You can put it in anything. It's really, really just delicious. What, what is like, it? I like, mean, it's an what? elderflower liqueur. Can I just taste yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Good <laughs> truth. It's sweet. Oh, yeah, it is. It's light. Mm -hmm. We're going to put a little bit of lemon juice. And then fill the champagne. So a lot of bartending companies will actually charge you to do a champagne toast. But if they already have champagne in their hand, mm -hmm. then it's different. So you can always do that with your cocktails. Ah. Because a champagne toast, we have to actually stop everything, line up hundreds of glasses, and right. get everything done on a timeline. Whereas if we're just serving it throughout, not a big deal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. Yay, look and they're that. super well, light, cheers. refreshing. Cheers. Yes. These now, are my favorite. Now, you, of course, um, have the Poor Horse Mobile Bar, which yes. comes to the event. Yes. Right? We do bartending with or without the, our mobile trailers. We have two of them, one on the way, and we're actually building the trailers out for people across the U.S. now, which is amazing. Wow. It's that, so cute. And that's so great, too, because, you know, before, and especially out in the, in the Hill Country, but before all the humidity really sets in, too, you know, this is greater even just in the evening out there. To slide that out, you've got, and look at that gorgeous venue with that beautiful bride right there. That's a, that makes for some great pictures. And that's Firefly. That's where you'll be next. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Okay. Now, how can folks book you? Um, so they just go onto our website, give me all the information on the contact page, and I will get them their uh, quote as soon as possible. So there's oh. little variations in there. Okay. All right. Great stuff from Dowsy with Four Horse Mobile Bar. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ah, well, you're outside. You know it's spring. All the wildflowers are starting to bloom, the blue mountains and everything. And it's all about spring. Of course, like we said yesterday, it was Palm Sunday, and Easter is just around the corner. Kind of the Really, the kickoff of spring is Easter. Oh, yeah. And Jen Tobias Strusky takes you to Felice Modern where you can put all your shopping eggs in one basket there and find something for everybody. Take a look. It's true. We want to show you some really cute and creative ways to decorate, fill the kids' baskets. I have Ginger Diaz with Felice Modern here to show me what's in stock. I mean, every season you get two new items in. That's what we love about all the different seasons, to get all the different decor. So this is a way to add some color to your buffet or your Easter table and or your entryway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pops of color, these bright bunnies have been really popular. They look like they're felt, but they're actually flocked. So that's what this material this, is called. This material is flocking. Really cool. okay. And then we have a little way to bring succulents into your Easter decor with this bunny vase. It's so cute. It's so sweet. Year round it would be sweet. And this bunny vase is good for cut flowers to go in there. Oh, look at that. And they go right in the ears. Right in the ears. You can do one or both. Oh my gosh. Those and these are, cool. are similar to our popular balloon dogs, but they're balloon bunnies. Goodness. They're very popular. You can pop them around on different spots on the table, or each t each place setting could have one too. And what's your advice for adding these pops of color? If someone's scared to go too bright, what would you say? Then stick to one color family. Okay. If, you, if you don't want it to get too crazy, stick mm -hmm. to just yellows and oranges, or whites and um, pastels. Or, you know, mm -hmm. you can go glam or pastel with Easter. Got it. Glam or pastel. Good tip. Yeah. So next, you have guest over and anyway, talk about cute. Well, here. we love party supplies here at <laughs> Police Modern. So this is along the same lines for Easter. We got paper placemats, we have the bunny ones, we have Easter egg die cut versions, 
and then we have the little fun little watercolor bunnies over there. So those are all paper placemats, and then we have the paper plates that can go with them. We have bunny paper plates, I love daisy, the or kids. the spring lattice. And and how long would you say um, in stock if someone's you know they watch this they want to come out and get some? We have a lot of the yeah, Easter party supplies available, so we should be good on that. All right. Yeah. Next, the baskets, because you always want to get creative and maybe add something different that the kids didn't have last year. Right. Tell me about what you have. Here. Well, I mean, we always want to fill our kids' Easter baskets with fun things, and this is a way to also make the basket part of the gift. This is a little unicorn Easter so basket, cute. and then we also we have the burlap I Easter basket with that. a little bunny inside. We have several of these little soft bunnies. They're so sweet. So cute. You can see They're these. great for Easter gifts and they play with them all year. Okay. And then these are surprise balls. If you haven't seen them before, they have different prizes. When you unravel the paper, oh there's different prizes like, inside. Like um, temporary tattoos, charms, a little parachute guy, different oh. little things inside. They're all different. That is so cute. And yeah. the kids can get them just unravel just them as they go. Do, right? mm -hmm. Oh, it takes them a while to undo oh, it. That is so cool. I've never seen that And then before. even little finger puppets over there. Oh, gosh. Yeah. They're so cute. Those are perfect for Easter. And this is an egg decorating kit that's more fun than just putting the color on the egg. You can make little people out of your eggs. Oh, my goodness. So the kids love that. The cutest things. And, uh, how would you describe what you have here? We're just full of color and fun and mm -hmm. um, celebrating life and entertaining and hosting your friends and family. And it's all fun. Yes. I love that. We're all about fun on SA Live. So um, tell people where you're located. We're at 110 West Olmos, just off the McCullough Circle in Olmos Park. All right. And for more information, just go to SALive.com and come and go shopping. I think I'm going to go shopping now. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. One of those stores yeah. where if you can't find a gift there, right? Yeah. You, and what's cool is, is the gifts, they're unique. Yeah. You know, so it's not like you'll find them everywhere and just, mm -hmm. yeah, especially perfect hostess gifts and right. obviously for, for Easter as well and all yeah. the holidays coming up. And in fact, if you mention SA Live uh, when you head to Felice Modern, you get 15% off Easter decor this entire week. And don't That's forget, nice. they have their Felice Succulent Saturday, April 7th. It's a monthly pop up with the cactus. Star for more more details will be posted on their Instagram at Felice Modern next week. All right, coming up, spring is all about the color. How to wear bright, bright, and an affordable price with Uptown Cheapskate. That's next. And channel your creativity with your biggest achievement. DIY graduation cap ideas still ahead. Stay with us. Attire. We are here at Uptown Cheapskate, and joining me is Shelly White, personal stylist. I love coming to this place because you can find really great name brands for affordable prices. You and me both. This store is always my first stop on any shopping spree. I know that I can find affordable fashion, and I'm supporting sustainable shopping at the same time. I find all my J. Crew, all my Anthropology, all my Lululemon for the days that I do feel like working out. <laughs> it all comes from here. Now, with spring and the warmer weather comes bright colors. Now, some yes. folks, they might be afraid to wear bright colors, you know, when you have to combine them, but there is a way to do bright right. Let's talk about what you're wearing. This J. Crew skirt is another uptown find. Really perfect for if you're if you want to like dip your foot into the bright color vibe. This is the way to do it. Let it speak for itself. You don't need a bunch of bright colors going on at the same time. Pair it with something white. Pair it with something beige. Let it shine on its own. If you want to get crazy with it, add something that's next to it on the color wheel. So yellow, pair it with orange. Cobalt blue, pair it with Kelly green. So if you are concerned about how to wear bright right, Let's start with one thing. Pick one like statement piece and just really rock it. So Alyssa chose this fabulous cobalt blazer. It's got some edge to it. And look how she's paired it. You would not think that it could go with wide leg, high-waisted palazzo pants in white and then a striped crop top. But see how it all ties together? 
especially with these caged heels that she's got going on to give a little more edge to it. The white is obviously perfect for spring, and Alyssa had mentioned that she wouldn't have thought to put a crop top with it. But when you add the jacket, it gives you that perfect kind of hourglass silhouette. So if you're the girl that really gravitates to neutrals, there's still a way to wear bright right. So Anna is our resident, you know, 70s retro gal, totally rocks the exposed lace-up jeans and the asymmetrical necklines that are going to be really on trend this spring. So for her to do bright right, we wanted to give her like a real rusty orange that's still gonna pop with her outfit, but it's not gonna make her feel like she's not comfortable in her own skin. She's paired it with, again, some awesome 70s platform heels. And then her necklace and earrings are actually handmade by her. And all the jewelry that we've worn, that you've seen today, has been from Anna. Her brand is Lillian and E. We just wanted to say thank you to Uptown Cheapskate and Erica for supporting other women entrepreneurs like herself, like myself, like Anna. All right, and there is a giveaway for our viewers, right? There is. Okay, so if you come into the store, Uptown Cheapskate at Hebner Road, anytime between now and the end of April, you can get 15% off your purchase if you mention SA Live, and you'll be entered into a giveaway to win not only one of these fabulous pearl chokers that we're both sporting. You can win a styling appointment with me here at the store. All right. For more information, of course, on Shelly and Anna and her jewelry, and of course, Uptown Cheapskate, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Coming up, enchiladas rolled up in a warm fried tortilla. We're gearing you up for lunch hour with La 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 Ladies Food Truck next. Let's go ahead. Silver Dancers take over the SA Live set with a special performance. How you can meet them and join a dance class. No dance experience required. It is a beautiful spring day, and of course, this is wedding week here. We're talking about weddings, and right now, a lot of brides-to-be may be kind of really worried about getting into that wedding dress and losing a few pounds here and there. Very simple way to do it, and with more about that from Slimetica is Alexander Castillo, who is a Slimetica patient counselor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks okay. for having me. So a lot of folks, you know, maybe just got done with spring break, and they're kind of looking, going, ooh, I could, you know, trim a few, and then the bride's trying to fit into the, the bridal gown, but you have the perfect way to do it, right? We do. At Slimetica, we have a special recipe for weight loss success where we help our patients lose around half a pound to a pound a day, all without exercise. Okay, that always, every time we do this, I always say it sounds too good to be true. But it's it not. Works, we obviously. make it happen every day for our patients. Again, half a pound to a pound a day on average. Very mm -hmm. quickly, it is because we don't have a one-size-fits-all program. It's tailored for each individual patient that comes in because everybody is different. And this is a combination of it's medically supervised and it's diet, not really exercise, but then also the lasers and all That's this. That's correct. Right? Yeah. So when you come in, uh, we'll run a full thorough lab analysis, have you come back in and meet with our provider. And at that visit, you two will work together to determine what type of program is appropriate for your specific needs. So mm. she always customizes nutrition. She includes prescription medications. And then we pair that with the technology, which is a Zerona laser. Okay. What keeps the patients then coming back? Because you're you're seeing results almost Exactly. Every time you step on the scale, you're going to notice a huge difference. Also, the Zerona laser is very relaxing. You're not going to be sore the next day like you would with exercise. You're not going to be sweaty. It's not very time consuming. It only takes 40 minutes while you're under there. And most patients 
kids just take a nap, go through their Facebook, whatever you want to do during the me time, and you're going to be painlessly melting your fat. So this is something a lot of times you said a lot of people come in during lunch. Exactly. Lunch just give yourself 40 minutes to come in and take a nap. You're not going to do absolutely anything. It's totally painless, zero pain, zero downtime. You just come in and relax. And the laser is going to be shrinking those fat cells for you. So it results in a really fast inch and pound loss for our patients just coming in for 40 minutes, three times a week. Now, since it's shrinking fat cells, is this something that, you know, a lot of times crash dies, you lose weight quickly, and then you can gain it back just as quickly. But does this then stay off because the laser has zapped the Exactly. Fat cells? And you're also learning a lot about nutrition. And you've got those prescription medications. It's not a drastic lifestyle change. There's no liquid diet, no prepackaged meals. Really, we're just showing you how to do things in moderation. So that way you can maintain these results even after you're done with the program. So here's a picture of Danielle. There's Matt and Tracy. And wow, 25 pounds. My wife lost 23 pounds in four weeks. They look incredible. Look at them. Look at their before and look at their after photo. They look like total different people. And that's just coming in and doing our program. You can look like that. Just give us a call. Don't hesitate. Sometimes patients will say, I have diabetes, I have high blood pressure. Is that going to be a roadblock for me? And the answer is no. Being that the program is tailored for each patient, we can work around those medical issues and ensure success with your weight loss. And there's another great before and after picture. And Rose. 49 pounds in eight weeks. She looks incredible. I mean, really, look at her after photos. She looks beautiful. A whole bunch of confidence and, of course, a better fitting clothes. She's not wearing those loose clothes like she is in the first picture. And how many women can uh, attest to that? Lowest weight since before her, uh, her son was born 14 years prior to that. All right, you have a special going on right now. We do, but it's only for the first 10 people who call or text us. You're going to get over 50% off of our four-week package. That package is normally priced at 4000 but today, only for the first 10 who call or text, you're going to get it for $1,800 with an extra giveaway, 24 units of Botox. Okay, and once again, call 210 361-1480. You call or text. It's 210-361-1480. And their website is slimetica.com. Thank you very much, Alexander. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. All right. A lot of folks are thinking about graduation. How about getting those mortarboards all nice and fancy so mom and dad can spot you there with everybody else? Guy White graduation caps coming up next. And, oh, uh, look at this. I entered... Way too many beautiful photos captured in here. This is one of the, you know, is he crying? Aww. with a saying that speaks louder than words. V Cruise owner Forever Pedals by V is here to show you how to decorate your cap for graduation. Look at how cute those are. Decorating your graduation cap is such a huge thing it, now, right? It really is. Um, I just graduated in this past December. From Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, from Texas A&M San Antonio and so it was just a sort of a big deal for me to be able to decorate my graduation cap show my accomplishments and my appreciation for everyone that supported me because there's the nothing process. you know if your child plays a sport a lot of times they have a number on their back so you can pick them out but graduation right. everybody's got a gown on and a cap, the mortarboard there. And right. You can't pick them out. It's like, wait, wait exactly. I, I, I think she's the one right there with the little black square on her head. So, yes. And this, we want to point out, is actually the one that you wore. That is, oh, yes, oh, that right. is the one that I decorated um, for my graduation. Uh, what feels like the end is often the beginning. Just spoke a lot to me just because, of course, I was ending my education career and starting on my business career. So um, it was sort of a big deal for me. And so today you all are going to go ahead and decorate your own. So if here, Fiona, we already have the hand lettered uh, quote for you, okay. and then you can definitely add just the paper flower decorations there. Okay. You have some bling strips there, and all of this is made using um, cardstock paper. So we have our glitter cardstock. It's more of a poster board with a lot of glitter on it, and then we have our black um, squared cardstock as well. And then Mike, yours is plain because okay. we want you to be a little creative here. So we're going to go ahead and have you design your own. Um, and so a lot of these products you can find from your local craft store. You can find it at Walmart. Um, you can also uh, go to your Michaels or Hobby Lobby craft stores. Even the dollar store has a lot of these 
these uh, bling sheets so you can get a full sheet of um, little rhinestones as well just to help you um, decorate your graduation caps. And you can really personalize these. I mean, we saw, you know, ones with quotes. People could put their names. So you can definitely decorate um, with embellishments. Um, if you, um, there's a lot of graduation cap designs out there that maybe associate with um, movie quotes as well. Oh. Um, just saying a simple thank you to mom and dad. Um, something as easy as that can definitely get you um, your graduation cap design going. Oops, sorry. Don't. So do you want to put all these down first before you start putting your, your flowers <laughs> you on there? Can. You, you know, can definitely or... do that. Um, <laughs> of course, the flowers are made out of paper. Right. If, if the um, if this is just your glue dot uh -huh. um, thing that you can use, you can also use this mounting tape. Uh -huh. It sticks a little better because it's paper. It'll stick on. Uh -huh. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is there are a lot of... Um, high schools, mainly the high schools that don't necessarily allow for decorations on your cap for the actual ceremony. Uh -huh. But a workaround with that is to add your actual design on your hat using Velcro. And the Velcro will allow you to detach during the ceremony and then reattach whether it's for graduation pictures or just before and after for dinner or your party as well. And like we were talking about also if, and I was trying to think of some <laughs> profound quote over here and I didn't, but um, also if you if you put little decorations on top, make sure you can still take your tassel and slide it yes. over to the left. You want to be able to move the tassel yeah. from um, one side to the other as you're um, decorating, just keeping that in mind. Um, and then of course, you want to make sure that you have the space in between the caps so that way you can fit the little button at the top of the board. Oh, and so Fiona's doing an excellent job <laughs> asking, a adding her flowers. You know, I, let's see. So what did you come up with? What, what did the kids call it well, back then? You know, sometimes <laughs> I can be at a loss for words, believe it or not. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> a man, a few words, but they're all the right ones. Yes. So again, this would be up here, and then you know you can see mom and dad can see it from yes, up there, right? Yes, of course. Yes. Just like, just like that. Right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Like that. Just like that. Yeah. He's done. Although in my case, you just take the mortar board off and look for the gray hair. So yeah, right there. So. Oh, you have an upcoming uh, class, right? Yes, I do have an upcoming workshop. It's paper flowers and happy hour. It will be on April eighth, and for that class, we are going to be making the larger paper flower peony. Um, so I just had a weekend full of workshops this past weekend, but April 8th would be my next date. Which her flowers that she makes oh, are yeah. the most beautiful thing oh, yeah. in the world I mean, when you put them. Especially yeah. at weddings, you yes. know, because you oh, do a yes. lot of weddings. So. For yes. fiestaries mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, of course. Last year we had the logo all decorated. So Yes. So <laughs> I am definitely busy. This past weekend we did Fiesta Halo workshops. So mm -hmm. all of my students made their own Fiesta Halo and they're ready for and Fiesta. And all the designs you can get off? Uh, yes, so website. all of the designs mm -hmm. um, you can order. If you're not a crafty or don't really have the time to decorate your own graduation cap, you can order via my Etsy shop as well. Okay. All right. Great stuff from Forever Petals by V. And congratulations. Thank on you. Your graduation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, coming up. Beef, rice, and beans wrapped in a warm tortilla. Is your mouth watering yet? Yeah. Where you can get this delicious dish next. And still ahead, ever wanted to learn how to move like the silver dancers? Now you can boogie like they do. Details on an upcoming workshop. No dance experience needed. Stay with us. It's an enchilada-themed food truck you can find rolling on wheels around the Alamo City. Elaine Liradine, one of the co-owners, is here to Hello. give us a taste of your food. And let me tell you, we've got the entire staff standing around waiting to eat yeah. what you see <laughs> right there. All right, what are we making today? Okay, so these right here are called our beef enchilada rolls. They're one of our top-selling items on our food truck. Mm. And so they're fried. So basically, imagine your enchilada dinner wrapped up in a flour tortilla like a burrito. We fry it. And then we put the dipping sauce on the side. You just made it a whole lot of easier and yummier yes, to eat. It's right there. So these are our beef, and we also feature a chicken roll. Oh, so we can do chicken okay. enchiladas as well. All right, so we're going to fry if so we want to right, right yes, now, absolutely. right? <laughs> so these are already pre-wrapped mm -hmm. enchilada rolls. So everything's in there. Yeah, everything's in there. It packs up real nice. It does. It's perfect, <laughs> yes. Oh, my sister loves prepping them, believe me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you can grab the tongs, mm -hmm. here, and we're going to put them in the oil. Okay, real carefully. There we yes. go. Okay, and so this one. So you're going to put them in here. Mm-hmm. 
and let them boil for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. Or maybe when the cheese is a little bit oozy, that's mm -hmm. when you know they're ready. Okay. So that's gonna go ahead and boil right there. And so we already had some pre-made ones. We cut them up so you can see on display oh, that's how they're look. going to look at the end. Yeah, so there's the rice. That's okay. how you'll get them. Mm -hmm. Yes, on our food truck, you'll get two of them in a dipping sauce and oh. a little side salad. It's absolutely delicious. Let's Perfect talk about that, that sauce, that gravy. <laughs> absolutely. So the whole thing about our food truck is we're an enchilada food truck. Mm -hmm. My sister makes all of her sauces. They're all homemade. They're all our own family tradition. They're all our family recipes. So we just put a little spin and a little TLC in them. You know? Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so it looks almost like a gravy. People always ask us, is that more? Yeah. What do you have on that? It's just our version of our red enchilada sauce. See, because I was looking at it and I totally <laughs> thought like a peanut mole sauce, yeah, That's what people right? are thinking. They all, when we have pictures, they always think it's mole. Right. What are you guys doing? And right. I'm like, it's our version of our red enchilada sauce. Uh -huh. It's absolutely delicious. It's just, mm. So what inspired <laughs> you guys to start? So my sister's been a chef. She's been mm -hmm. in the industry for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. But as far as I can remember, she's always cooked for me and our family. <laughs> so it's just been a lifelong passion of ours. We've always loved enchiladas. And so we wanted to go into business together. She and I had our own separate careers. And we, we just finally jumped in and did it. She and I both quit our full-time jobs. We went in together with this food truck. We came up with the idea of the enchilada-themed food truck because... It's very unique. Yep. You've never heard of that. Nobody's ever heard of an enchilada food truck. They're always looking for the street taco, and we are something different. But it seems to be taken off. Everybody, it's a hit. People know who we are. They recognize us instantly, and they know exactly what they're going to order from us. So what does the, what's on the rest of the menu? What are some of the popular so because items? Because I say it's enchilada themed, uh -huh. yes, we do have our traditional place. You can still get your beef enchiladas, mm -hmm. your chicken enchiladas, we um, cheese enchiladas. But we also take a little spin on them. We can fry them. Mm -hmm. We put our sauce in the quesadillas. We wrap them up like burritos and we call them our lotta wraps. They're like our signature wraps. Absolutely. We can put them in bowls if you're trying to be lower on the gluten. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit longer. <laughs> if you're trying to like just get less of the flour tortilla but you like the innards, we'll put it all in a bowl for you with a little salad. And we can even make a green salad and we'll put our different stuff in there. People like the sauce, some people don't like the sauce. Right. We just Easy mix peasy. it all up. Yes. All right. We can even do veggies for people who like grilled veggies. We have it all. So something for everybody, something even those looking everybody. to eat a little healthier Ex and still yes. get their enchilada exactly. fix. Okay? Yes, exactly. Exactly. All right. So, so you got to wash that all down, right? Another popular item on our food truck is our fresh lemonade, mm -hmm. and it's also our hibiscus lemonade. Ooh. So this is our fresh lemonade. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can just go ahead and pour it pour inside it. here. Okay. Here we go. It's getting ready, especially all for the way, summer. All the way yes, to the... All the way till about right, right here. Just keep going. Right there. Keep going. Oh, keep going. Yeah, you're going to do it. Keep going, going right there. Oh, okay. And then this is freshly brewed hibiscus tea. Oh. Yes. So you just put like that, a little squirt in there. A little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> yes. It's like a little shot. There we go. Oh, okay. And it's just going to mix itself. You can put a lemon. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. And then so, yep, perfect. Oh, and mix look it. at that. Absolutely. And you drink it. And it just has this great floral taste. It's like a spin on the fresh lemonade. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we love it. We drink this, it. I'm assuming this is popular. It's a popular item on our food truck as well. It's yes, so light, yes. especially in the summer months yes, and around exactly. fiesta time. Absolutely. Mm. Yes, ma'am. There you go. You could spike that, too. Still be <laughs> you know, good. we hear that a lot. A lot of women are like, we take it back and get a little bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for more yes. information on Lala Ladies Food Truck. <laughs> Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab to find out where you can find them next. Yay. Next, learn to move like the Silver Dancers, an upcoming workshop that you don't need any dance experience to take part in. that anyone can learn how to be a silver dancer with some of those moves? Of course. You guys are having master classes? What, tell me what that, what? What, what can we learn? So our last two master classes that we have are our leaps and turns classes and also our hip hop classes. Okay, so who can sign up? 
men and women ages 18 and up can sign up and you can sign up on our website www.spurscamps.com slash programs all right they're gonna learn to boogie like y'all well, thank you so much for being here thank, <laughs> thank you. you all right the master classes of course are 6 30 to 8 30 on march 28th check-in begins at 6 p.m and that's at the george gervin youth center and classes are only 25 dollars for more information just head to our website salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. All right. We made it through a Monday. Right? Yay. Yes. And this is, you know, we're celebrating weddings mm -hmm. this week on SA Live, and we have a fun wedding contest happening on our website. We told you about it a little earlier in the show, but we really want you to enter. All you have to do is head on over to salive.com, click on the wedding contest banner, and submit your favorite wedding photo. Have your family and friends vote, share it out, tell everyone, and we will announce the winner at the end of the week. And get this, if you win, you get a date night for two at the Majestic Theater. Ooh. Very fancy. Ooh, that does sound very right? fancy. Okay. To the theater. Most important thing at a wedding is, of course, the bride. bride. Second most important? The drinks? Probably the cake. <laughs> Yes, the cake. the cake, yes. Heading over to a bird bakery tomorrow and making a cake and how to decorate it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Layers of fun. Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed. That <laughs> buttercream frosting there and showing all the little tips on how to do those, some of those decorations thing. I didn't really do that well, but I had a neat, you know, chef's hat on there. So, so you were official. Yep. And student to student will introduce you to a program that's helping new students transition, and they have one rule, 100% acceptance no matter what. Final fours this weekend, who are you picking? Kansas, Villanova, Michigan. Should I go uh, Michigan because of you?